Together again for the first time, we have the Bissell Power Force Twins. Weighing in on the left at 10 pounds and an 8 amp motor, the bagged version. On the right that you've seen before, an 8 pound, 7 amp motor version, obviously bagless. So let's take a look at the one we haven't seen before, the Power Force Bagged. So we can turn this guy over, take a look at the ratings plate. That'll give you all the nifty little information there. I guess it's a model 1739. And we have pretty nice looking brush roll to be honest with you. That is really something. So fairly stiff bristles, but they're not, uh, they're not super sharp. Lovely blue rug plate. Looks like it comes off with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five screws. And you can get to the belt, but you cannot turn the brush roll off. Got this nice hose right here that detaches. Right there. And you've got some extension tubes, or a, a tube that has the crevasse tool in it, extension tube, and it looks like it's just one extension tube. See, you've got the cord over there, you've got the cord release, here's the power button that my foot normally loves to slip off of, at least with the bagless version. You've got the pedal release switch that we found out has two positions. One is all the way flat. The upper cord hook does rotate down for easy removal of the cord. This I like. You've got some manual adjustment here. And as we found out in an earlier video, if I go to three, that seems to be pretty decent for medium pile carpet. If I go to two, I think I just hear the bristles on a completely bare floor. And of course, that would be a lot of bristles on the bare floor. Uh, let's see, let's open up and take a look at the bag compartment. It's a little stiff because everything after all is nice and fresh. So, I mean, that's, you know, the plastic isn't exactly the thickest, but it's kind of, how can I say, uh, wet. That is, it's very flexible and it doesn't appear to be brittle, in, at least not now. I mean, over, I suppose, lots of, uh, uh, heating and cooling cycles, it'll probably get brittle over time. But hey, what do you want for a vacuum that might sell for, oh, I don't know, say 40 some odd dollars new? Now, let's see. And of course, this isn't my machine. This is Thomas Rechtenwald's on loan. He gives me all his vacuums to go and test, uh, if you're watching. So this is the bag that he included with it. And I'm actually not going to use this because I don't want to get it any messier than it already is. You do have this little pre-motor filter right here. I mean, I, I'm not so sure. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's charcoal. It could just be colored black. Might be something like that. And I don't see... This is your exhaust filter right here, but I don't see anything unusual about it. Uh, it looks like it's got the same type of material in it. Get real close. Yeah, it looks pretty much like the same... There. there we go. Same type of material as this right here in this exhaust filter. So it certainly isn't a, a sealed system, at least from an exhaust standpoint. I bet this seals fairly well. Let's see, we got... You know what? There's no, I'm not seeing any kind of rubber or foam seal. So I'm not sure how well that's actually going to seal. I don't see it anywhere in here. Yeah, it's just going to be, honestly, a plastic on plastic seal. And I'm going to use my crucial vacuum bag that I used in my Hoover Tempo Wide Path because collars fit. Matter of fact, this collar right here has a pretty tight fit. 
And this one here is a little bit looser, probably because that surround in there just has a little more give, but this thing actually fits real tight. So that's what I'm gonna put in it. And let's see what else can we do. The introduction has gone on way too long. Let's compare brush rolls because these guys are in a similar price class. Obviously, one bagged, one bagless. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so let's take a look at the brush roll differences. Slide over there. There you go. Hopefully you can see them clearly. That nice, lovely, bright blue. Nice and fresh. This guy is from 2013. And these are definitely softer and shorter, to be sure. But I think this did uh, this particular model did very well, especially in the sand test. So uh, this one's obviously much bigger and wider. I'm going to bet it's got a little more airflow, especially since the motor is one more amp. But, you know, we got to measure it. You never know. All right, so let's get started in the whole house cleaning with the bagged power force. All right, decided to make one small modification. Rather than putting in a used bag, I'm going to put in a new one. Then I'm going to turn it inside out, blow it out, and see exactly what made it into the bag. All right, I got the little extension wand, well, very short extension wand, and the only one there hooked up to the crevice tool. And let's see how well this thing picks up just some hair on the bare floor. Nice if I turn the machine on. the vacuuming the carpet.
see it go all the way flat. Really nice. not bad just kind of caught those little strips all over the place I hope you can see that and as far as pushing um, you know it's not bad uh, it feels like it's scraping the carpet a little bit I mean just naturally with the rug plate um, but it, it's not bad it's not as smooth as it could be but you know what do you want for I suppose $40 <laughs>
now I gotta go under that chest of drawers. getting underneath most furniture.
less flying than this one. you can definitely get it underneath the bed. That is really handy. things. I have not stepped on it. So there's the carpet lines such as they are. And let's take a look now since I finished the second floor. Let's see what the brush roll looks like. All right so focus. That would be nice. Cool. So we picked up some hair obviously. Not really too bad. Definitely got to go and pick that hair off. But, looks okay so far. All right, now down to the first floor. You know what? I might try the stairs with this. Yeah, that's it. I think I'll try the stairs. It's probably going to look pretty goofy, but why not? Okay, can't wait to see how wacky this looks. I do this with my tempo. Uh, this has different handle holds. Well, it's really carry up here, so I'm not too sure how well this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. 
You might just have to cradle it like a baby or something. <laughs> Our dog Rosie's bed liner. And the noise you hear in the background is our dishwasher. So I'm going to set a Bissell to position. I'll say start on two. See how that is. I want to see how it picks it up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see her hair. Uh, it's only like a half inch long. And it's very light brown. We'll see what happens. <laughs>
Well, yeah, it got it got most of it. I don't think I did a good job about right here. It's a little bit left right here, but otherwise, what normally accumulates here, even in the edges, uh, it got most of it. And I put it on position three and um, not position two because it was just digging a little bit too hard. So that's kind of interesting for essentially what I would consider to be a bare floor. Uh, position three. Let me see how that goes here on this bare floor. I mean, I guess on bare floors you could run it on two if you wanted to. Um, it might not be good for delicate bare floors. Position three would probably be safer. The only thing is the nozzle is so far up, I don't know how much you're going to necessarily pick up, but it's worth a try. All right, here's something that usually trips up a lot of machines. Uh, I'm going to start out at position three on this rubber back mat, and I'll make adjustments as I go. certainly weird but I'll say this on position three it was barely touching the mat but it wasn't sucking it up and on position two it was definitely touching the mat and it was definitely harder to push you could make it work but it's going to be a little rough <laughs>
whole house cleaning as best as I can at night of the Bissell Power Force bag. So since it's at night, we will take a brief look at what made it into the bag. But uh, I can't actually blow it out because I can't see what I'm doing at the moment. I have to wait until a later date. And back in the lab at night. So let's take a peek. See how the brush roll did. I know we looked at it the first floor. There we go. And eh, not much change. So that is first floor and second floor. And of course I can vacuum the basement with it, but it's not really gonna pick up any more hair. So that's that that's not bad at all. Now let's take a peek and see what made it into the bag. Well, looks like we got something. Let me get my other light here. See if I can get the right kind of angle down in there. Oh, my other flashlight will help or not. See, there you go. So, I'll have to go and turn this inside out at a later date. But I am seeing some pickup. It's not much. But then again, our house isn't very dirty. Let's see if I put that in underneath there. There we go. I'm kind of doing this while I'm behind the camera and in front of it at the same time. So, yeah, it definitely picks them up to be sure. So, best thing is, is we'll just turn this inside out. Again, this was a completely fresh HEPA bag. Ooh, there's a, let's see. And get a better look down there or in here. Oh, it's so thick, it's hard to see. Anyway, we will we'll take a better look at it in the daylight and even blow it out. All right, so it's the next day. And now I have this bag here that made one full house cleaning possible on the Bissell. And this is the amount of dirt that it picked up. Believe it or not, there's some little fuzz stuff I can feel in here. It's a little squishy, it's a little springy, but that is typically what I pick up from any vacuum for a full house cleaner. I know, it doesn't look like much, that's kind of the point, but there's stuff that's in there. So let's see what one full house cleaning looks like. Remember, this bag was completely clean. Definitely got some, got some hair. We got some carpet fiber to be sure. Let's get the rest of this pushed through here. You want to know what your vacuum is doing or how well it's doing? You got to examine the dirt. Yeah, it's a messy job. Most people won't want to do it. Can't blame them. But what you got to do. So that's what this thing, this little inexpensive thistle picked up. You see, there's an awful lot of fibrous material in here. Obviously, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of dog hair. I would expect that. A lot of fibrous material. But we'll see how much fine dust it manages to pick up. And I'll let you see what's inside here. It's just a small handful of stuff. All right, that's probably about as much as I'm going to get off my hand. So let's see if you can see this. Yep. So right inside there, that is just one house cleaning. It's a couple thousand square feet. So a lot of that is fibrous. Remember, it's got a very aggressive brush roll and I would kind of expect that.
hopefully we manage to refocus. All right. Let's see how much fine dust is in there. And watch the bag. But you can kind of see here, this is still pretty white. And this is uh, obviously like a gray. Watch this whole bag get really, really white very quickly. if I can get this really close, that in the end, what you've got left over, there we go, you got some dog hair, and you pull that off manually if you wanted to, but I'm not that nutso about cleaning the bag off, but you see how much whiter this thing got. So it's pretty clean, and the nice thing is, is the vast majority of smells you might experience, literally blue right back out of the bag. Now I go ahead and do this. Get a little shake. Throw another little piece in there. There we go. And much, much different. Certainly not perfect, but this isn't bad at all. And that's what I do for a lot of my bags to just avoid having to throw them out with only, oh, I don't know, maybe five or ten vacuuming sessions because I can't fill up one of these bags. I just, I can't do it. It would take me years. All right. Thanks so much for watching.